How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy. I'm a uh, category manager here at Tech Rentals. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the um, crystal gauge, uh, the XB2i crystal, crystal gauge. This is a uh, pressure measurement device. It's incredibly accurate. Now if you have a look at this, the specs on the back here, um, this happens to be a 100 psi instrument so we're up to uh, 7 bar. Um, and its accuracy is 0.1% uh, um, between 0 and 20% of the range and uh, sorry from 20% to 100% it's 0.1% accurate and from 0 to 20% of the range 0.02% uh, percent of full scale so in other words 0.1% of reading from 20% of the range upwards is incredibly accurate it's a nice little piece of gear um, in the kit we've got the um, it's, uh, we've got the, these gauges, they'll just operate as a gauge, but they can also log. So um, we've got the uh, uh, RS-232 cable adapter for your PC to download, and the software, little simple cheat sheet, and an adapter. Now, um, the uh, fitting you need here is an MPT, quarter inch MPT. So uh, if you need an adapter, uh, etc., you speak to the salesman and you deal with a TR and he can sort of set things up. Uh, by the way, if you're looking for the um, CAL certificate, um, here it is on the back of the accessory list. So that's where the CAL certificate's kept. Okay, if you're using the instrument as a straight gauge, it's as simple as turning the instrument on. We press and hold the on button, there we are. We switched it on and um, I can pump the pressure up etc. Now that's reading in millimetres of mercury at the moment. We can change the units very simply. I can hit zero, hold this button here and zero it out um, and it'll give me the highest and lowest reading in that range and there's the average reading whilst it's been running. Now that's operating it as a straight gauge. Right, if we want to operate the uh, XP2i in logging mode, um, there's this little cheat sheet. And the cheat sheet will give you um, various key combinations you need to hit. So I'll just go through that. So if I hold the units key down and switch it on, it comes up, it's in record mode. Now I can hit the peak key. Now that there's a couple of recording modes. Record mode one, LT1 is actual, we can record average, average with peaks or, or on demand. So I'm just gonna record actual. So now I hit the units key here. That's how often we're going to record. We can increase or decrease. So if we make it every, that's every, that means it's gonna take a recording every two seconds. That's pretty quick. And then we can press the units key and it's ready to record. Now, in order to start recording, we hold the units key down and we can start. Now, we'd lift our finger off and now it's taking a re reading every two seconds and we're doing it in MPA. Now, the device is logging and we'll now go through uh, what's involved in downloading from it. Thank you. Okay, we've been logging for a little while. Now, to stop logging, I hold the units key down and when it says stop, I take the button off. So I'm holding, pushing the units key down and it scrolls through start, stop, clear, etc. Now the record is no longer flashing. So in other words, we've stopped logging. Okay, I've uh, loaded the software from the memory stick here. Now I've got admin rights on my PC. If you don't have admin rights, um, the, the driver for this USB to RS-232 adapter will not install properly, properly. So make sure you've got it. So I simply plug that in there and plug this into the back of the gauge where I've got my RS-232 port and I'm ready to communicate. Okay, we've um, installed the software, we've got the, the logger um, plugged in via USB and I just click on connect. Now it cycles through the various RS-232 ports, it finds the logger, it'll take a couple of seconds, and now we've got, we're connected to the logger, it gives the serial number, etc. Um, and the fact is that we can reprogram the logger, the, the logging, etc. We can send that to the gauge. And in this, this instance, I'm just simply going to download. So I'm going to click on download. Uh, successfully downloaded both runs, okay. And I'm going to now view this data. And here's the readings, etc. So if I click on save, um, gives me a few specs there. I click OK. And I'm going to call it just junk for the minute. 
Oop, J-U-N-K. Uh, click Save. OK. Now, it, it provided you have Excel on your PC, it now um, runs uh, Excel with a particular Excel template. They have a default Excel template that they, they give you that includes graphs, etc. And um, so we're just waiting for Excel to run on this um, laptop. Right. Finally, it loaded. Um, here we have the, um, uh, the output in Excel, and here's the raw data. It's got the graph there, etc. So it is as simple as that. The crystal gauge, it's a um, simple to use, really highly accurate. It's a great piece of gear, available to rent from Tech Rentals. Thank you very much.